Hi, welcome to machine learning tutorial. In this video, I will discuss how to apply candidate elimination algorithm to find consistent hypothesis for the given set of training examples. This is the solved example one. I have discussed two more examples. The link for the same is given in the description below. This is the data set given for us. This is the data set I will be considering uh, for this example. There are four examples in this data set and there are six attributes. The first attribute is sky, second one is air temperature, third one is humidity, fourth one is wind, fifth one is water and sixth one is forecast. And the target variable is enjoy sport. Given certain conditions, sometimes the person will enjoy the sport and sometimes he will not enjoy. If the person enjoy the sport, it will be written as yes, that is the positive classification. And if he is not enjoying the sport, it will be written as no, the meaning is he is not enjoying the sport. Now, uh, if you go with the candidate elimination algorithm, the very first thing what we need to do is, we need to set the most specific and most generic boundaries. So first we will do that. Uh, this is the most generic boundary consisting of all question mark and we represent this with uh, G0 and this is the most specific boundary consisting of all nulls and we represent this with S0 in this case. Now we consider the first example. The first example is the positive example. Because it is a positive example, first we will go to generic boundary. And then we will try to check whether the hypothesis at the generic boundary is consistent or not. If it is consistent, we will retain it as it is. Otherwise, we will write the next general hypothesis. Now, if you consider the hypothesis at the generic boundary, it contains all question mark. So, all question mark will match with this example because question mark will match with sunny, warm, normal, strong, warm and same because it matches it is a positive classification and we are expecting positive classification. So, this will be written as it is. So, it is G1 is the same. Now, we will go to the specific boundary and then we will check whether the hypothesis at the specific boundary is uh, consistent. If it is not, we will write the next general hypothesis. The hypothesis at the generic boundary contains all nulls right now and it will not match with the sunny, warm, normal, strong, warm and same because it doesn't matches. It is a negative classification, but we are expecting positive here. So, it is inconsistent. Because it is inconsistent, what we do is we will write the next general one that is S1 is equivalent to sunny and null. We will replace this null by sunny. Warm and null, this null is replaced with warm. Normal and null, there is no match the null is replaced with the normal and so on. So, this is the hypothesis at the specific boundary. Now, we consider the second example. The second example is again the positive example. So, we go with the generic boundary first and then check whether the hypothesis at the generic boundary is consistent or not. Again, the generic boundary contains an hypothesis which contains all uh, question marks which perfectly matches with uh, this uh, uh, example that is uh, the question mark will match with sunny, the second question mark matches with warm and so on. Because it matches with this uh, example, it is a positive classification and expected is positive. Hence, the same hypothesis will be retained as G2. Now, uh, we will come to this uh, specific boundary and then we will check whether the specific uh, hypothesis uh, is consistent with this example. Now, sunny matches with sunny, warm matches with warm, high will not match with the normal. So, we need to replace high with uh, high and normal with the next one that is uh, the question mark. Strong and strong will match perfectly fine. Warm and warm will match perfectly fine and same and same will match perfectly fine. Okay. So, because there is no match, it is uh, inconsistent. So, we need to replace this particular normal with the question mark here. Now, considering the next example. The next example is negative example. 
So when it comes to negative example, first we go to the specific boundary and then check whether this hypothesis is consistent or not. Now, if you check this particular hypothesis, the hypothesis contains sunny and your examples contain uh, rainy, rainy will not match with sunny. Because there is no match, we say that uh, the example is negatively classified and we are expecting negative classification here. So it is perfectly uh, the consistent hypothesis. So we retain the same hypothesis as S3 here. We will go to the generic boundary. First we will check whether this hypothesis is consistent or not. If it is consistent, we will retain it as it is. If it is not consistent, we will try to write all hypotheses which are consistent with all the training examples seen till now. Now, uh, this particular question mark will match with uh, the third example because there is a match, it is positively classified but expected is negative. So, this one is inconsistent. So, if it is inconsistent, we need to write all hypotheses which are consistent till now. So, that's the question. So, how can you do that particular thing is, uh, for writing those particular hypotheses, we will consider one question mark at a time and that particular question mark is replaced with, for example, this particular question mark contains a rainy at this particular example. So, the opposite of rainy will be put into that particular question mark. Similarly, we will write one more hypothesis with the second uh, question mark. Second question mark contains cold in the example. So, opposite of cold is warm, we will write it over there and so on. So, first we will do what? The first question mark, the current value is rainy. Rainy uh, opposite is sunny in this particular column. So, we will write that sunny and remaining everything will be question mark here. For the second question mark, right now we have cold, the opposite value is warm and remaining all are question mark. For the third question mark, we have high here, the opposite of high is normal, so we will write that particular normal. I will tell you why I have written this particular uh, thing as uh, red later. Similarly, for the fourth uh, question mark, the fourth question mark, the value is strong in the example, but the opposite value does not exist in the column, so we do not write anything. For the fifth uh, question mark, the warm is the current value, the opposite is uh, cool, we will write that particular thing. And the sixth is uh, question mark, change is the current value, the opposite is same, we will write that particular hypothesis. Now, what we have done is, we have written all the hypothesis. The question is, whether all these hypothesis, whatever we have written, there are five hypotheses we have written, whether all of them are consistent or not. If they are consistent with all the seen examples, we can retain them. If it, if they are not, we need to remove them. So, we will check the first hypothesis first. Sunny question mark. Sunny will match with the first one. All are question mark. There is a perfect match. Perfect match means uh, positive classification. Expected is positive. So, consistent with the first example. Sunny, again question mark. Sunny will match here and then all question marks will match with these attribute values. Perfect match. Positive classification. Expected is positive here. So, it matches with the or it is consistent with the second example also. Next one is the sunny is present here. Sunny will not match with rainy because there is no match. Negative classification expected is negative. So, this one is consistent with the first three examples or the examples seen till now. So, we will retain it. Coming back to the second one. Question mark warm and remaining are question mark. So, first one will match with sunny. Do not worry. The warm will match with warm here and remaining question mark will match with the, these attribute values. So, the perfect match, positive classification and expected is positive. Similarly, for the second one, it matches with the warm and remaining all are question mark. So, perfect match, positive classification and expected is positive here. Coming back with the third one, the value is warm here and here it is cold. Cold will not match with warm, negative classification expected is negative here. So, it is consistent with all three examples seen till now. So, we retain it also. Coming back with the next one, question mark, question mark, normal, question mark, question mark. So, if you see here, question mark, question mark will match with sunny and warm, normal will match with normal and remaining three question marks will match here. Perfect match, positive classification, expected is also positive. No issues. But coming back with the next example, question mark, question mark will match with sunny and warm, but high is the value present in the example and normal is present in the hypothesis, there is no match. No match means negative classification, but expected is positive here. Because of this, this hypothesis is not consistent with the second example. Because it is not consistent with the second example, we remove it. If it is not consistent with any of the hypothesis, any of the examples seen till now, we remove it. Similarly, with the next uh, hypothesis, the first question mark, four question mark will match with the first four attribute values. But the fourth one, we have cool in the hypothesis, warm in the 
uh, example so because there is no match it is a negative classification but expected is positive with respect to first example because there is uh, uh, can say that inconsistency and see with respect to first example this is also removed considering the last one the first five question mark will match with uh, the first five attributes and the last one is same so the first five will match here the same will match though perfect uh, match positive classification expected is positive so it is consistent first five will match here till now the question mark no issues same will match with same perfect match positive classification expected is positive the next one is uh, the third one till now it will match but the sixth attribute value we have change here and same here no match means negative classification expected is also negative so it is consistent with the third example so we retained it also so out of five what we have written uh, there are two are uh, inconsistent uh, hypothesis we remove them and remaining three are consistent we retain them so what the one which is written in red they are inconsistent i have removed them actually now coming back with the uh, uh, the last example the last example is a positive example here because it is positive we will go to the positive uh, boundary or the generic boundary and then we will uh, retain all the hypothesis which are consistent with the fourth example uh, if it is inconsistent we remove them so the first hypothesis sunny all question mark sunny all question mark it ma perfect match positive classification and expected is positive so it's a consistent hypothesis we retain it so this one is retained now this one question mark warm remaining are question marks question mark will match with sunny warm will match with warm remaining are question mark perfect match positive classification expected is also positive so we retain this also the next one is uh, the first five are question mark and the last one is same so first five question mark will match till here but the last one is same and change no match negative classification but expected is positive here so we remove this also so this one is done with respect to generic boundary we will go with the specific boundary now uh, we will see whether it is consistent or not sunny will match with sunny warm will match with warm high will match with question mark strong will match with strong warm will not match with cool and uh, change will not match with same so we have to replace these two with the question marks because cool and warm will not match replace it with question mark change and same will not match replace it with question mark so this will be the s4 or the specific boundary in this case we don't have any uh, instances or the examples here so these are the boundaries uh, this is the specific boundary and this is the generic boundary because there are more than uh, one hypothesis uh, present over here we need to write some more possibilities considering these particular hypothesis so i will show you how to write that particular thing here so this is the generic boundary consisting of two hypothesis and this is the specific boundary consisting of one hypothesis to write a few more possibilities we consider one hypothesis from uh, specific boundary and one from generic boundary we compare these two hypothesis we consider these two and then compare these two hypothesis for the first mismatch sunny and sunny no mismatch warm and question mark there is a mismatch so we will write a new hypothesis consisting of the you can say that this question mark is replaced with a specific value question mark and warm the specific value is warm so we will write that particular thing over here so this one okay i will tell you about this later so this is what actually the thing and remaining all are question mark here similarly considering this and this one this strong and this question mark there is no match because there is no match this question mark is replaced with strong and then we will write one more hypothesis from this one so sunny question mark question mark this question mark is replaced with strong and remaining two question mark are kept as it is here and if you consider this hypothesis and this one there is no other uh, mismatch we will find so we will go with the next possibility this hypothesis and this one now considering this sunny and question mark there is a first mismatch so with this question mark is replaced with uh, sunny and then we will write one more hypothesis that is sunny warm remaining all or question mark it is already written here so we don't write one more time the next mismatch is strong and this question mark because there is a mismatch this question mark is replaced with uh, strong that is uh, question mark warm question mark this question mark is replaced with strong question mark question mark so that is what is written here so once we write this uh, we don't find any mismatch between the hypothesis under consideration so these are the three more possibilities we have written here so total number of hypothesis or the consistent hypothesis present for this particular given data set are six 
so this is the procedure we will follow to find the consistent hypothesis for the given uh, problem definition using uh, candidate elimination algorithm i hope this particular concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the bell icon for regular updates press the subscribe button for more videos thank you for watching